the EPA spends a whopping $158 million more money on its public relations budget. And 15 million of that goes to people outside the EPA itself, outside PR people. Liz Harrington from the Washington Free Beacon, you brought us this story and it's a good one. So I have to ask, how many PR people does the EPA have on the inside before it goes outside? Right, on the inside they have 198 full-time employees, so that's in-house, and I think it's very indicative of the size of these government bureaucracies that you're seeing. I mean, 200 full-time PR employees, plus they spend a million dollars a year on outside consultants. I mean, that's a huge operation that's a really, that you've seen how uh, big the size of government has grown. If you ask them, how, how do they justify this? Well, they say, you know, we do a lot of important work and it's important to sh share with the public, you know, what we're doing with regulations and public comment and getting the word out. But at the same time, I think they have a lot of press work when you, you know, see the Gold King Mines spill. That's bad press. Uh, when you see half of the states are suing them over their waterways regulation. I mean, that's a lot of PR work, too, to try to spin all of that. So I think... You know, it's questionable to see they're saying they're doing all this positive work. It's just informing the public when they're really cleaning up a lot of messes of their own. Do you think that they would ever cut that PR staff? I mean, I know I'm asking a foolish question because no government worker ever gets cut, period. But I'm just asking, what's the odds? I mean, honestly, once it grows to that size, I, I, and it's not really quick either. I mean, every time I reach out to EPA for comment, it seems like they don't get back to me very quickly. And then it's just, you know, a pretty boring statement usually. So I don't really know what they're doing over there. But, you know, 200 employees, it, it's a huge number. I mean, like you said, it's bigger than the Kardashians. So. Uh, is, it, um, is this common? government departments, uh, I mean, 200 in-house PR people at EPA, how many would it be in other government departments? I mean, is, it, is this common that a government department should have such a huge phalanx of people representing them with the media and with the people? You know, I haven't looked at specific numbers, but I have to imagine that it has to be similar. I mean, you're saying uh, a lot of these agencies do similar work in their scope and the number of regulations that they issue. I mean, you're going to have a lot of people. There's so many subdivisions within every agency. So you have public affairs officials for every different little program. I have to imagine that the numbers are very comparable. It's just the bureaucracy. That, I think that's what gets to people. It's not the absolute number, 198 in-house PR people. It's not that. It's just the idea that it's such a vast bureaucracy. And actually getting something really done, decisive action, you're just not going to see it. I mean, I'm, look, I'm putting out my own politics here, I know, but uh, I think I'm preaching to the choir with you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think you're right. I mean, I think what is a public relations? It's usually either cleaning up a mess or putting up, you know, the information they want to get out. I mean, what is that really, you know, accomplishing all that much? I mean, it's hard to imagine that you need that many people to do the work, you know, that they're actually doing. Um, I think, you know, Open the Books is the transparency group that really dug into these numbers. And they said people think, they expect the EPA is just working to protect the environment. And then you see there's, they have a $160 million PR machine. That's a big part of what they do <laughs> and, and spinning what they do. So I think it's important for people to know about. I'd just like to know where my money's going. That's it. And it's right. as simple as that. Liz Harrington, thanks for telling us. We're